you like me more? Like, how much money would I have to give you at this point to get 25 relations? 125 would net me 3. 100 would net me 3, to be fair. So... Uh, probably about a th 900 ducats or so. That is one expensive 25 relations. How far off are you... Like, what is your relations with them? 89. Oh my god. That is with fully improved relations. I have had a diplomat just sitting there improving relations at all times. Like, since I got that PU. Well, that's good, I guess, but... What, uh... What's holding you back so much? Uh, there's a couple random event things that look like they procced. Ignorant Monarch and Beheaded Nobles. Oh, is there anything you can get, um, for... What am I trying to say? It's a word. <laughs> oh, really? Well, clearly it's a word, but I mean, it's a specific idea. I don't... Hmm. Oh! Can you get the guy that gives you better relations over time? Um, actually, I'm coming up on that in uh, my religious ideas. Yes, that's good, because all that stuff will go away quicker. Yep. Like, I would try and get as much better relations over time as you can <laughs> through a bunch of different means, I guess. Yeah. Caravel, okay. So Caravel, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get an explorer. That's a shit explorer. I mean, he's good as an admiral, but shit explorer. You're gonna go to Hawaii. You know, chill out, relax. Glad they're converting stuff for me. Manchu is? Or Ming is? Uh, Nepal. Why well, can become Defender of the Faith? Oh. Not really. I really, I really I don't want to become Defender of the Faith. I don't think. Ooh, but that prestige though, um, negative 5% tech cost, I don't want to eat that. You in Australia yet? Or I mean, Hawaii? I don't even, see, I don't even, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so explore, go crazy. Pop this Terra Incognita and get me prestige. I thought I discovered Mexico. I don't even know. Like, at least the border of the United States, I want to say. Another tech? Sure. Then you go to the tech map mode. Okay, I am orange. So, actually, I am caught up with Oman in Morocco. So I'm caught up with all the Muslim tech groups. Nice. I'm ahead of Chinese. 11, 10, 12, 10, 11, 13. Yeah. Is that for the Mughals? Oh, I guess they were Horde in the beginning. Okay, that pushes me back to November of 1630. Oh, so yeah, you didn't loot much at all. No. More prestige. I don't need you anymore, is there? Ooh, production efficiency. 10%, so 2912 is what I'm making now. Let's see what I'm making after I recruit this guy. 3141, good. Did I say 2112? I want to buy 10 bucks. Nice. My inflation's on the rise again, but where am I at for this? I still have a lot I get. Another idea group, and I will probably get trade ideas so I can start getting more merchants. Because that will give me two, three merchants from trade ideas. Oh, and they're changing some stuff around. Um, expansion ideas is going to become an administrative idea. Really? And espionage idea is going to become a diplomatic idea.
they're switching those around because they said for countries that want to colonize holy it's shit too heavy of a diplo load well that sucked what 30 lost naval and army tradition yeah dude no those events really suck that's why i have zero of all of it Ugh. Welcome to westernizing. Okay, I can make more carrots now. I wish you could set rally points in this game. It's one thing I think all strategy game, like grand strategy games, need. What's up? The ability to set rally points. Yeah, especially when you're playing just like giant countries yeah like, like that's ugh. one thing I really like about Victoria 2 is rally points well and then I guess a lot of games have rally points but that's the paradox game I know with rally points don't you bastards do it what are they doing oh I just have a feeling these rebels are gonna march over into my lands as soon as they're done that is highly possible. Oh well, I won't be as angry with them as I am with the damn Patriots. Fucking Patriots, they love their country too much. <laughs> that they march over into it and start sieging it? Yeah, told you man, they love their country too much. <laughs> okay, got a bit under three years left. Till I'm westernized. Good, then we can just go war crazy, right? Sure. Maybe if you start funding me. I am making 10 a month. I am making negative 0.68. Ouch. <laughs> How much are you paying for advisors right now, Corey? Mm. Wait, what's your total income? That's what I want to know. What is your total income? My total income right now is 43. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I will have to fund you then. Yeah. My total income is 102. Yeah. But, I'm spending more on advisors than your total income. <laughs> I'm spending 51.37 on advisors. And my stability is going down, down, down. <laughs> I think it's worth it though, really. I mean, because otherwise your options are losing westernization progress. Well, that wasn't even one of those. Oh, just shitty events? Yeah. I had one earlier that I think was like that, but... Oh my god, he lived. I prayed for his... I didn't want to spend the money, because I don't have the money. Hmm. Get some good prestige out of that, right? Yep. If I killed all of my advisors right now, which I could do, not kill them, get level like two advisors, my money would jump way up. But, uh, you know, I am going to take the level one admin guy just because admin tech is not as valuable for me and I really need the missionary strength because I've been converting this province for like 10 years. And that just sped it up to being done in one year instead of in six or in 35. Because what I think, well, no. Okay, is he blind up there? Oh, they just went around. Never mind. We're good. I guess admin's actually pretty important because I do rely a lot on production. I'm making almost as much from production as I do from trade. I make pretty much most of my money through taxation and then quite a bit through production. Yeah, I'm making 30 from production and 30 from trade. I'm making 10 from gold, that's nice. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about just going and annexing Mutapa because my inflation is ridiculous so I need two more gold provinces. But I will get administrative ideas soon. So I can afford to have two gold, two more gold provinces. God damn it, Castillo. Castillo. 
Steel's just being annoying. They're not even like doing any harm to me, really. They're just colonizing annoying places. Looks like they backed off from my islands, though. Burgundy's getting in on this colonizing game. Are they? Yeah. Where are they at? Oh my god, they're in South America. England has four. Uh, wow. Oh, poor Cato. <laughs> You're stuck between England and Castile. You poor, poor... Wait. Holy shit, your military tech's higher than mine! No, it's not, it's the same. We're good. I freaked out, man. Okay. But yeah, did you see in the loading screen how big the Iroquois have gotten? Yep. They're huge. Okay, so where is my explorer? There he is. Okay, so yeah, keep keep exploring. Do do what your name says. You explore. Why are you not okay? Yeah, yeah up here. And over here. And over here. Mm, bounce around in here a little bit. Find Alaska. Go down here, and then come back to Shirabashi. What are you? You are Carex. Good. I'm really... <clears throat> I'm thinking. Thinking about possibly moving my capital back to Brunei. Only because I can defend mainland Brunei really easy by just putting all of my heavies in the Straits of Johor. Mm-hmm. But defending Cylon is a little bit harder than that. But yeah, I, I can do, see that. I do care about my African provinces, though, because I got so much money from them. I'm making, I'll be making like 15 a month by the time I'm done with them. Just, nice. from, the, just from the gold in my African provinces. Oh, you know how I was looking for all my troops? Mm -hmm. I found them. There's like 30,000 sitting in Africa. I was moving them over there for the war with Castile, and Castile invaded, like, Cylon. Oh my god, that was... Damn it. I lost my explorer ship. Sad name. That's alright, I sent him on a long trip. I thought he would make it, but... Clearly, I was mistaken. Five peasants? I don't even know where that's at. It's up there. Um, I'll deal with that in a second. Should I still have mercenaries? I should probably get rid of those. Why do I have mercenaries? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I got a few to flesh out my ranks a bit but I mean at this point I've got 90,000 manpower so yeah I'm at 53,000 which is over my max manpower so yeah it's kind of funny like my guys are western units like they're wearing like the medieval armor and stuff mm -hmm. but they're Asian like they have the mustache, curly mustache and stuff Wow. It's kind of funny. Okay, so you guys are doing your whatever you do. Transports, pick up troops or something. Pick up these 8,000. We gotta kill these rebels. 23, so I need 7 more characters at least to feel comfortable. Yay, pretender rebel.